Hi everyone, this is Nana Andam the first, so known as Kenny Andam. I'm beginning to start a new initiative that I call Lifestyle Without Borders. And the focus of this initiative is to open up the general viewership online to the opportunities, possibilities, and things that we can experience in different cultures around the world. I've always had the belief that whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. So far as you dedicate yourself, work hard, and persevere to be the best in the things that you focus on accomplishing in your life. A uh, living example is myself. I uh, grew up in an IGS state, B42 Lane Tapradi in Ghana, the western part of Ghana. I was a little child, I always dreamed of, you know, just working towards my goals and things that I aspired to become. And mostly those things were imagine this, things that were out of reach to the average individual in our community. My parents never discouraged my brothers and I. They always encouraged us to be the best that we can be. And through their support, today I've grown up to be a man. I sometimes look back and wonder how fast life went by from just running in front of our house in you know, a sprint race with my brothers and my friends to today sitting in Guangzhou, China, starting my first recording about lifestyles without borders what do i mean by lifestyle without borders or as classified in other terms journeys without borders it's very simple when you grow up in an environment you're always raised to believe in values that are basically preached within your communities or your cities you grow up believing everything that you told as a child and you build yourself towards accepting them and basically living your life in conformity to what you're told uh, as you get older and become an adult, you realize that most of the things that you learned as a child are not what reality brings to you. And so at the end of the day, your perception about the things you learn changes gradually with age. And as you get older into your adolescence, you actually realize that there are a lot of things that you're informed about as a child that as an adult comes totally different. An example is Santa Claus. Others will talk about, you know, uh, witches. Others would talk about folklore, clear, like, you know, uh, all these little spiders that can do magic tricks, uh, like how folklore clear in Ghana, Kukwa Nancy, you know, the white spider. You hear about the story when you're a child, you get so excited about it, and then you grow up and you realize that it was just a story. Another thing that you realize, too, is that you're educated about Christianity. You also thought that the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. You also thought that the only path to living an everlasting eternal life is basically, you know, being good in your life and going to heaven after death. You have thought so many principles. But with lifestyle without borders, one thing I've realized is that every single community has a story that builds itself to become the belief system of the people that live in the community. For example, I've traveled the world. I've seen pretty much every single country that there is to see. I've met the most amazing people around the globe with different cultures. And what have I learned from them? Amazingly, everybody has their own intrinsic belief and values that they conform to. You go to India, they don't know nothing about Christianity, they believe in Hinduism. Some of them are Sikhs. There are so many different religions and cultures that people follow. You go to Thailand, you meet the Buddhists. They basically believe in you know, dealing with nature and basically have their own system that they've grown up to adopt and accept as their true direction to, you know, the self-being and self-wellness of them as individuals. And then you go to, you know, Dubai or the United Arab Emirates. These are Muslims. They believe in basically Allah and they believe in the Prophet Muhammad. They have systems that makes them work towards that. They have a culture that they follow. And each of these cultures are different but beautiful. You go to Tibet. The Tibetan monks have a whole different lifestyle. You go to people that practice Confucianism, people that practice Taoism. You meet so many people and you realize that the world is not only subjective to the teachings of Christianity, but there are so many diverse beliefs out there that people embrace to live the best life they can live. And so my belief is that with Lifestyles Without Borders, I'm determined to open the world to everybody and allow people to ask themselves a simple question. Why are we here? If you're born in a place, why were you born there? 
if you travel to other places? What is the reason for you traveling to see the world? What are you going to do to contribute your little piece to Human Puzzle of Dreams? How are you going to make a difference in the lifestyles of the people that you come into contact with? All I want to do is just open up the world so people can see possibilities and share their views and perspectives about the things that they've seen around the world. This is Kenny Andam, Lifestyle Without Borders, Jenny's Without Borders. Don't restrict yourself to what you thought when you were a child. Open your mind, learn, explore, and become the best you that you can be. Thank you.